everybody and welcome to Thrifty Thursday. If you remember last week, I only found that bread machine at the thrift store. Well this week, I got a whole bunch of goodies. So I can't wait to share with you what I got. First thing I'm going to share with you is behind me. First thing I'm going to share with you is something I got free at the thrift store. Now it's really dingy and really dirty, but it was free and it's glass and I think it's just so cute. So. I'm going to share with you what I'm going to do with it. I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to put it, but I'll share with you how I'm going to clean this up and turn it into something really cute. And it was free. You can't go wrong with free. This is the first thing I got. It was 50 cents and it's a canister. It's almost like paper. I'm sure at one time it wasn't very cheap, but I'm going to use it to put some of my herbs in. And I actually have the herbs in the basket behind me that I'm going to work on today. The lid is actually really snug and tight, so this is what it looks like. So that is what I'm going to be working on here in just a moment. Then I got this dress for $1.50, and it's a little high price, I know, but I have an idea what I want to do with it. As a lot of you know, when I was adopted, I didn't have any clothes that came with me and how my mom sewed some dresses. I'm going to also display them as well. So I thought this was just really, really cute. All right, so. They had all of their material half off, and I got all of this for 50 cents. Yes, 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 we know what I'm going to do with it. But I thought, how adorable for fall and 50 cents for all of this material. So some of it I will use for my bowl covers, and some of it I will use for some things that I'm going to work on. But I thought it was adorable. The of you that so can understand, it's a 26 by 44 and it's two pieces of it and it was half off so it was 50 cents so that I'm really really happy about I'm happy about everything <laughs> okay so I'm gotta show you what I have here because we wrap this up in this so also I got one of these and I paid a dollar for it I think I paid a dollar for it and this I'm going to use not as a pillowcase but I'm going to use this for something with my cooking in my kitchen you'll see after a little while what I'm going to work on with it but I thought it was really cute for a dollar and it's vintage looking and it's something that I think is going to go great with what I'm working on and this for a dollar now I know last week I said that a dear sweet subscriber gave me some of these but I got this for a dollar because look how old it is Vintage, woohoo! <laughs> Vintage, very old. This is very old um, labeling, and I might just keep it like this, at least not use it right away, because that is really neat. Get so it's really neat. I love, I love old labels. I love old labels. All right. Last but not least, I was really excited. As you know, we had a candle making video, and that was on Tuesday. I hope you didn't miss it, because it's really neat. But I got all of these for 35 cents each, and they say love on them. I'm going to turn these into candles. So I got six of them for 35 cents each. That, I think, is amazing, because I have really neat lids I'm going to use with them. So all six of these for 35 cents each usually their glass is so cheap so and this is the heavy mason jar now you can't can in it it says not for canning but I'm sure that I, it will withstand the hot wax whoa what a thrifty Thursday we had a lot of neat items and so I'm gonna share with you right after this video some photos that I took of where these items went take care everyone We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Mwah. See ya. <laughs> mm -mm. Lemon verbena. This is going to go into some of my homemade lye soap coming up here in just about a month. Oh, the smell of lemon verbena and in a nice little canister like this. I love it. So my friends, you're wondering what all these different kinds of soaps are? 
They're vintage anywhere from 1929 to 1956. Wow, you're just going to have to wait till next week. We have a lot going on in this series of Old Fashioned Living. That's the pillowcase. What are soap berries? Oh my goodness, so many wonderful things. I can't wait to share with you. But the pillowcase is there and I'm going to use that as a draining board when I wash my dishes. I bet nobody has an idea what I'm using this for. In the kitchen? I am putting all of my essential oils. So these are my kitchen essential oils. I'm going to put them in here all at one place so you know what I have. How cool is that? Yes, I will be having more videos on my essential oils. Coming here soon. And there you go. It's all finished. My essential oils all in one place. Isn't that really cute? And it was all for free. Where's the cute dress going? I'm going to show you in just a moment. But here is the very first dress, very first piece of clothing I ever had. When I was born, my mother passed away, and I was given up for adoption. And even the clothes that I wore had to be given back. So that night, my adopted mom sewed me some clothing so I would have something to wear. So it's evening time and I wanted to share with you one way that I'm creating peace outside and that is through solar lights. All of these lights that you see are solar. It doesn't cost a cent and it brings so much beauty, so much beauty into your world. These solar lights are really reasonable to buy and the little bees that I have here are over a year old. So I add solar lights to almost everything that I have. It just brings so much joy and it just looks so pretty. I'm once again turning away from the modern world that we live in, getting rid of a lot of electricity going back to solar and going back to the old ways of life. Though it's so dark, it's just so welcoming to come into your home and see these lights, oil lamps, oil lanterns, all of the things that bring you warmth and joy. And even inside the greenhouse, I have it real pretty with some solar lights. From Fanny's Diary, we're on October the 17th, 1943, and Fanny writes, Today I was at a corn threshing contest at Heaston's. I cut two print dresses for Marion. Today was a good day. It's been brought to my attention that YouTube is having a glitch of some sort, and a lot of my subscribers are saying they've been unsubscribed in the last couple days. Just look under the video right now to see if it's still subscribed. Can you give me a thumbs up? A thumbs up is really important in these days if you have a YouTube channel. And also, can you make sure that the thumbs up sticks? Because it seems like a lot of these thumbs ups are being turned off as well. Thank you so much for doing all of these things for me. And don't forget to... notification bell that lets YouTube know that you really like my videos and that way my videos get shared even more thanks so much for helping me out in such a tangible way it's paper it's like wooden slash paper I'm gonna use this to store my herbs which I'm gonna work on here in just a moment So 
So the first thing I got was this canister for 50 cents. And it was real primitive looking, the look that I'm going for these days. So this is the first thing I got. It was 50 cents and it's a canister. It's almost like paper. I'm sure at one time it wasn't very cheap. But I'm going to use it to put some of my herbs in. And I actually have the herbs in a basket behind me that I'm going to work on today. 